Hey everyone, another installment. Um, I complained about Ral Zarek and I will give him one credit. He's useful in more than one situation. Now why am I mentioning this? Well, this is the most specialized planeswalker I've ever seen to the point where it needs specific cards you need in a specific deck. This is Nissa Ravine. Um, I think the plotline with her is that she's very elf oriented because she is an elf and she thinks elves are like the grand high mucky mucks of the universe. Um, all in all, she needs a little bit of an attitude adjustment from what I understand. Um, I could be wrong, but this is probably the worst in terms of usefulness planeswalkers out there. She's not very expensive to play. She's the average mana cost, four. But she starts out with a loyalty of two. Um, okay. That's kind of the same as Tybalt, only Tybalt, again, was a little more multi-use than her. And... You need to put her in an elf deck. That's where she's gonna work. If she's in any other green deck with no elves, she's practically useless. Here's why. Plus one. Search your library for a card called Nissa's Chosen and put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Okay, if you don't happen to have any or found your play set, um, then we've got a problem because you're just searching your library, finding nothing, and reshuffling it. That may not be useful. Maybe useful if you're getting screwed, but her second ability is also a plus one. This is not uncommon. Um, I've seen one other card do it. Um, you gain two life for each elf under your control. Are you seeing a pattern here? You either need a specific elf card or you need elves. And her negative seven is search your library for any number of elf creature cards and put them onto your battlefield. Then shuffle your library. In other words, you need a deck full of elves for that to be useful. And then if you've able to boost her up, like one extra, you can use the next turn if nobody kills her, the second ability and gain a butt ton of life. In an elf deck, this is freaking amazing. If you're not playing an elf deck, what are you going to use her for? She's extremely specialized. Like, ridiculously specialized. And I would love to see them make a new card with her with less specialized um, abilities. You know, and that's a big weakness of the card. I mean, if you're running a very quick elf deck, and yeah, she's like a great, great card. But if you're not running an elf deck, then she's useless. She is utterly useless. And that's kind of a shame because, again, she would be an excellent, excellent planeswalker because she could do like elf tokens that would have made her a little better like give her a uh instead of the search your library for a uh this is chosen search for a card why don't you say play an elf token then at least you could put her into any green deck because then you can build up the elves and then gain two life for that um the nuke could say the same too if you happen to be playing an elf deck but if that's not the case then you know you end up with a Shuffle your library ability. So, yeah, she's a planeswalker that's really specialized. But she's one of the first planeswalkers, I think. Not the first first, um, but like one of the earlier ones. This is from the Zendikar set. Um, but, so they are probably still tweaking planeswalkers. This is around the time Jace the Mind Sculptor came out, and... I'll probably do a review of him next now that I mentioned him, but he's notorious at this point. Nasty card. But she's not so strong. Well, until next time, folks. Um, I'll catch you later. Bye!